One of the most moving scenes of the Blitz was the sight of the tube shelters. On almost any night during a raid, this figure might have been seen wandering about. Henry Moore, the sculptor. Here, perhaps, was the one artist most capable of immortalizing the stoic endurance and suffering of these people. Henry Moore's shelter sketches have become some of the most recognizable images to emerge from the Second World War. They caused a sensation at the time, and Clark was quick to purchase some of the pieces for the official war art scheme. Here were images that fulfilled his ambitions for art that would resonate deeply with the lives of ordinary people. Alf, I think I'm right in saying that during the Blitz you used to shelter a lot underground in the tube stations. Yes, yes. We, sh we sheltered many uh, di different places until we found the underground and they let us go down there. But in the underground, you couldn't hear nothing. People went down there for that reason. So you couldn't hear the bombs? You couldn't hear nothing, nothing at all. This picture, can I talk about this picture? Of course. This that is... picture there, that's how we slept. Well, to me, this looks very claustrophobic and... It is claustrophobic. The air in there was thick. I know that um, you were involved in a really awful disaster. Could you tell me what happened that, that evening, that night? Yes. As if it was yesterday. On the 3rd of March, 1943, uh, around about 5 to 8, the siren started. So we ran across the road to where the uh, tube was, the Bethnal Green tube. Well, everybody was walking down the stairs, just like any other night. And just as we got to the middle of the staircase, this tremendous noise flew up. And they called out, there's a bomb, there's a bomb, get down, get down, get down. At that point, two buses had arrived and all them people clambered off the bus and made for the shelter. And they pushed forward. And I was wedged up against the wall. Well, by that time, the people Children, ladies, anybody was falling. They was falling all down by the side of me. I couldn't lift myself to go forward. I could move my arms and I could want to get out, wanted to get out, couldn't get out. Then a lady air raid warden, she laid across the bodies and grabbed me. It went like that, out. And she pulled and pulled and helped us half them out. What happened to the other people who were left behind in the stairwell? They died. They were some of the 173 people who had passed away. Children. Children are gone. You never see them no more. The Bethnal Green Tube disaster was hushed up by the government. They didn't want the public to believe that the underground shelters were anything other than safe. 